help you derive a function. And this is called the quotient rule. So if you want to derive a problem that has a vision in it, so f of x over g of x, if you want to derive that, it would equal the derivative of the numerator times the denominator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator over the denominator squared. Okay, so for example, we have this function right here, h of x equals 3x squared plus 4x over 5x plus 2. And we want to derive this using the quo quotient rule. So let's say we have h prime of x. We want to find out what h prime of x equals. Okay, and we're going to label this to help us. We're going to label this f of x. And this, the denominator is g of x. So f of x equals 3x squared plus 4x. And the derivative of that, the derivative of the numerator, would be, using the power rule, we know that it would be 6x plus 4. And g of x, the denominator, equals 5x plus 2. And if we derive that, we get 5. Alright, so let's plug that into this equation. So f prime of x, 6x plus 4, multiplied by the denominator, g of x, 5x plus 2, subtract f of x, so 3x squared plus 4x times derivative of the numerator, which is 5. So 5 times 3x squared plus 4x. All right, so let's distribute. Foil here. So that would become 30x squared first outer. Plus 16x, oh, sorry, plus 12x, plus 20x, plus 8, and then we're going to subtract. If we're distributing the 5 here, we get 15x squared plus 20x. Alright, so here we can combine like terms. 30x squared minus 15x squared would be... 15x squared, um, 20x, if we're distributing the negative here, 20, it would be 20x minus 20x, so we can subtract those from each other, and then we're left with 12x and 8x, which don't have any more like terms to combine, so that's plus 12x plus 8, and we put all of that over g of x squared, 5x plus 2 squared. So that is your derivative.